Hey guys, we wanted to do a quick tutorial video showing you the basics of how to get your Capto device set up from downloading the software, everything leading up to capturing that first putt. So first thing we do, we obviously have the device in front of us, so we need to open it. And you'll notice there's really four components inside this box. The first one, we have the USB flash drive. This is gonna be what the software is on if you're downloading it onto either a Windows or a Mac device. So you're gonna need that if you're downloading it onto a computer. If you're gonna use an iPad, an iOS device, or an Android device, make sure you go to the App Store to download the software. The next thing, we obviously have the actual Capto sensor itself. We'll get into that a little bit later. We also have the charging cord that you'll need. We're gonna use that obviously to get the Capto ready and charged. And then we also have the Quick Start Guide and on the back end of this, we have the Capto device code as well as the software license code. You'll need that once you have the software downloaded so that we can get it registered and we can get it running. So let's go ahead and dive into how we download the software. Let's go ahead and get the software downloaded. If you're gonna use a computer, like I said, you're gonna to need to use the USB device to download that software. If you're using a iPad or an iOS device or even an Android, uh, go to the App Store to download the software. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna plug this in. And in the top corner of the screen, we can just we can now see a folder called Capto. So I'm gonna double click on that, and it gives me three options across the screen, Android, Mac, or Windows. This is a Mac device, so I'm gonna click on the Mac folder. And then you have two options here. We have the Capto uh, with the actual Capto logo, and then you have the zip drive. All you need to do is click on that logo and you can actually drag that onto your desktop and it's gonna transfer that file. Cool, so we now have it there. I can now actually eject the USB, <coughs> unplug that, and now I can double click on the icon to get the software running. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and charge our Capto. Okay, so to get your device charging, you're gonna to need to take out the charging cord as well as the Capto device. So I'm gonna take the cord and you can plug it into any sort of USB. This is just an iPhone charger. So I'll plug that in and then I'm gonna actually take the top of the Capto device. This little plug just pops straight off. I'm gonna take the cord and I'm gonna plug that in. So once that's plugged in, plug it into the wall and you'll see a red light. That means it's charging. When the light turns green, you'll know you're good to go. Okay, so now the software is on my desktop. So let's go ahead and open it up by double clicking on it. And it's gonna take us to this home screen where you're gonna need that quick start guide that's in uh, the Capto case. Cause on the back of this, you're gonna have to enter in that software license code. So that code, and it walks you through it. We can see this little screen that pops up on the left. So you need to enter in that first five numbers there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then creating, a, creating an account is easy. You just hit create an account, put in your email, create a password, and then you'll receive an email to verify your account, and then you're good to go. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. So now I'm logged in. So as you can see, the Capto is trying to connect, the software is trying to connect to the actual Capto device. Because we have it charging and it's not turned on, it's not gonna actually connect. So this screen is gonna pop up. So we're gonna get this screen that's gonna walk us through how we connect it to the uh, internet signal that the Capto device puts off. So let's go ahead, grab the Capto, let's get it turned on, connected to the app, so we can actually go ahead and capture a putt. Okay, so our Capto device has been charging. So to turn it on, there's a little button down here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that and we'll see the light on the top turn green. That means it's on and it's now putting out a wireless signal. So to connect to that, you're gonna to have to go to your wireless. You're gonna to have to connect to the Wi-Fi, and it's gonna open up a signal called Capto. So we're gonna look for that. There it is, so there's Capto. So I'm gonna click on the Capto, and now my computer is gonna to connect to that. So I can close this tutorial, and I'm gonna go ahead and click where it says not connected, click on that, 
and then I can hit connect. And now it's going to try to connect. We get the beep. That means we're connected. We get the second one to confirm it. So now we are connected. So we can see that that not connected sign on the right of the screen has now gone away. We can also see how charged our Capto is. So it's at 99%. And then we can also see at what frame per second the Capto is capturing at. So ours is set to 300 frames per second. We do know that it can go to 400 frames per second. So next thing we need to do to actually capture a stroke is we have to select a player. So I'm gonna select a player. And because this is a new software, I don't have anybody in it. So let's go ahead and put myself in there. So I'm gonna put in my first and last name as well as my email. You don't have to put an email, um, but the, the only information that you have to fill out, like it says, is the yellow field. So you have to at least put in a first name. I'm gonna go ahead and put in most of my information here. So we're good there. And then I'm gonna click the saved button. So now we can see the player is saved. So now it's time to move on to putter data. So I'm gonna click on putter data. And again, there are no putters in this yet. So we're gonna to have to create one. So we're gonna click the add button, which is gonna create this blank page for us. I'm gonna put in the putter name. So this is gonna be Eric Ping Putter. And then you're gonna fill out the brand. So this is a Ping. And the model of this putter is a ZB2 Sigma. So this is one of Ping's new putters. So I'm gonna enter in that information. So this is the Sigma2 ZB2. And then I'm also gonna to need to get the length. I need to know the loft, the lie, as well as if there's any offset and the distance that the sensor is from the bottom of the club. So let's go ahead and show you that and then we'll come back to this screen and show you what you need to put in before you capture a putt. So the first thing we need to know, we need to know the length of the putter in inches. So I'm gonna rest the putter on the ground as it would naturally sit, so in a neutral position. I'm gonna measure it to the top of the grip. So this putter is 34 inches long. So I'm gonna come back to my computer and I would type in 34 inches. It's already set to that, so that's fine. I know the loft of this putter is three degrees. So I'm gonna put it to three, the lie is 70. And then the offset is simply the hosel position, how much it is kind of in front of the head. So this is about a three quarter offset. So I'm gonna select that option, just a three quarter offset. And then we need to know the sensor distance. And you can either do it in centimeters or inches. I'm gonna go ahead and do it in inches. So we need to go ahead and get the actual sensor put on to the shaft. So I'm gonna unscrew these. And then the light is always gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and secure this around the shaft. So I'm gonna screw these back on and tighten it. I'm gonna do my best to make it straight. We'll make it perfect in a second. But for now, we just need to get it on. And then again, we need to know the height that that sensor is from the ground. So I'm gonna put the putter back in its neutral position and I'm gonna to measure to the bottom of it. So this one is at 19 and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 19.5 inches. And then it is also a blade putter. So I'm gonna select blade. And then within their database, they calculate the moment of inertia as well as the weight of the putter. So once I have that information in, it's time to calibrate. First, you have to save the putter. So I'm gonna save it. And now we can see that the calibrate button has turned blue. So that means we can go ahead and calibrate. So we have the sensor connected to the shaft. Now it's time to calibrate. So this part gets a little bit more detailed because we wanna make sure that this putter head is perfectly 90 degrees to the sensor. So you're gonna lay the putter flat on a flat surface or as flat of a surface as you can find. And you need to take something so you can make sure the face is at 90 degrees. I've taken a ruler. So I'm gonna hold the ruler down on the table and I'm gonna check that the face lines up perfectly with that straight edge. So it does, so we know we're good. So now I can go back to the software. I can hit that calibrate button and it's gonna go ahead and do a countdown where it's gonna level this out. And then I have to do the second part of the calibration, which is where you're gonna hold it with two fingers and you're just gonna kind of let it hang. Again, get another countdown. 
So now the putter has been calibrated. Hit the save button again so it has now saved that calibration. And now you're ready to hit your putt. So go ahead and click on the putt button. So now we're ready to hit a putt. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that you might need to know so you can capture some of your putting strokes. So when we look at the screen, we'll notice that red circle on the outside. That means that the putter is currently moving around. So it's not gonna capture a putt until the putter sensor is recognizing that the putter is at an address position. So if I go ahead and set up to the golf ball, we're gonna see that it says active and that the screen turns green. We're also gonna get that um, auditory of that beep telling us that we're good to go ahead and hit a putt. So we hit our putt, we get a beep. That tells us that the putt has been captured. So I can do that again, so I'll set up. Get the beep. And then I can hit the putt. So that's the process of downloading the software onto your computer or downloading it onto your app on your phone or your iPad, as well as getting yourself calibrated and ready to hit a putt. It's simple to use once you have everything to set up. Enjoy all the data that this has to give you. It gives so much information that's vital for whether you're a player or a coach, this is going to help you improve. Stay tuned for more videos as we go deeper into some of the intricacies and other ways that you can use this device to maximize your use and improve your putting performance.